I have a haul for you. I've tried to film this haul. Uh, I'm just struggling today. It is struggle town in the Hill household. So um, let's try this again. Well, there's actually a couple things in here from uh, Ulta and Sephora as well. And one thing in here I actually got at Nordstrom. So yeah. Uh, but I just wanted to show you what I've got. I will be sure to give you guys updates later on as I continue to use this stuff. Uh, I'm also doing a kind of summer haul thing today because I did some shopping to prep for Vegas because I leave for Vegas on Saturday. Super excited about that. Uh, so if I'm wearing the same getup, then that is why. Uh, I may even vlog a little bit of Vegas. I've never vlogged before, but I thought it would kind of be a fun thing for you guys to watch. So if you're interested in a Vegas vlog, then definitely let me know. But for the time being, let's get into this. First things first is a face wash. This is actually the Philosophy, the Micro Delivery Exfoliating Wash. Uh, I have actually felt this and it does feel really, really nice. It's supposed to have resurfacing benefits because the greens in here are super, super small. Um, so it is gentle enough for everyday use. So I am interested to see how well this stuff works. And next, I got a couple mini things in here because I figured, you know, if the price is right, like if it makes sense to try it out in a mini version first, then I think I'm going to start doing that because sometimes, you know, you buy these things in the full size and then you just waste so much product because either you don't love it or it just it's not the right color for you, yada, yada, yada. So um, since this was actually not a bad deal to get the uh, smaller version, I decided to go for it, especially because the full size was out of stock. So this is the Makeup Forever State Step one skin equalizer. This is the mattifying primer. Um, my friend Tara on Instagram, thank you. Uh, she had DM'd me and mentioned that this was a must for oily skin, so I'm excited to try it out. I've heard really good things about Makeup Forever's primers, so we'll see how that goes. And then I also have a, oh my gosh. Okay, so this, this is perfect if you're going on a vacation because it is extremely, it's like it's a body perfector. It's the Tarte Instant Matte Waterproof Waterproof Body Perfector. I tried a little sample of this. Um, my sister had it and she gave it to me. So I was so impressed. It is in fact waterproof. I can't tell if it's going to rub off on clothes or anything like that. So I will have to let you know. But if you're trying to hide imperfections in your skin, like dimples, they're on other places other than your face then I highly recommend this. This literally makes you look like a mannequin in a good way. Okay, and then another mini is the uh, Benefit There Roll Push Up Liner. Uh, remember when everybody and their mom was given this Benefit Push Up Liner and everybody was saying how great it was and how amazing it was and then it just kind of like eh, teetered off the face of the earth? Well, I remember that. And uh, I will say that my sister has this and it is, it doesn't move and it is extremely black. Uh, her only thing was that the application of it is not the easiest thing in the world. It looks really good when it's done well, but if it's not perfect, it, it can take a lot of time to get perfect. I guess that's where I'm going with that. So, um, but I was thinking about it, and then that very same day that I was thinking about it, Battle Ash Beauty actually posted an Instagram post that said that she loves this, but she uses it with a stiff angled brush instead. So she'll push up some of the product, use just a stiff angled brush to gather some of the product onto her brush, and then go in and do her liner, and she said that she loves it. So it was just kind of random that I was thinking, well, maybe you could use that with a brush. And then she posted about it that very same day. So I got the mini version to try it out and see what I think. I will let you guys know. And then I've heard a lot about this too. This is the chlorine uh, dry shampoo with oatmeal. No, 
oat milk. And it's just a really, uh, it's just a dry shampoo, but I've just heard a lot of people say that it actually makes your hair feel very clean. So Batiste does an awesome job of making it look clean, but then if you go and touch your hair, it's kind of like, ooh, not so much. So I wanted to give it a go and see what I think. And I may just like never wash my hair again. You think I'm joking. This is the Tarte Brazilian Self Tanner. This thing is huge. It's like as big as my head. This is the uh, one that Sephora sells that's like the value pack or whatever. I love that it always comes with a fresh mitt, so that's always nice. I like the color of this. The longevity is pretty good. It gives a very natural tan, um, but it is dark enough for my skin tone. I have had a just... The last two St. Tropez mousses that I've purchased have exploded in the drawer and it's not like it's super super duper hot in my drawer in my makeup drawer where I keep this so I don't know what's going on but it's just really frustrating to have to clean that up so me and St. Tropez are on a little break right now and I am starting to use Tarte. Another thing that I wanted to talk about, I got this actually a while ago but it's the Bumble and Bumble Surf Infusion Spray. This is a mix of like an oil and the original surf spray. It's like a sea salt spray. Uh, this works really well because it doesn't make your hair quite as frizzy or as crunchy as the original surf spray. Uh, so I really do like it. I use this on like fourth or fifth day hair. Um, I know that might be kind of disgusting to some people, but uh, I don't have to curl my hair. I just, if my hair is already curled, I just spray a little bit of this in and just do like scrunching motions and it just gives my hair some texture and some life. Um, when I say a little bit, I totally lied because I do feel like you have to use a lot of product in order to get to this to work. I don't have extremely long hair right now, so I can't imagine like if you have a lot of length to your hair, then I feel like you would have to use a lot of that product and it would go really quickly. However, I do like the results that I get with it, so I'm happy with it for now. I did buy the, I already have it open because like I said, I've filmed this 18 million times, but somebody asked me about the Laura Mercier uh, Bronzer and Ritual and asked me to compare it to the Hourglass Bronzer. So you can see that um, this looks a little bit darker, and in fact, even in the viewfinder, this one looks a little bit warmer, but I would say that the Hourglass is definitely warmer. Uh, I would say that the main difference is that this is warmer, this is a little bit more, it's warm, but it's a little bit more neutral on the skin than the Hourglass one. This has like a pink shimmer marble running through it, whereas this has more of a champagne shimmer running through it. So I think it's just based on your personal preference. I feel like this one is a little bit more luminous than the Laura Mercier, but that could totally depend on yours because these are all unique. So for instance, I don't have as much pink shimmer in mine as somebody else might have. So I would suggest going into the store and swatching it yourself and seeing what you think. But uh, honestly, out of both of them, I still like the Hourglass one better. So that's just my personal opinion so far. Okay, and then another thing that I purchased. Hi, honey. Another thing that I purchased is uh, actually from Ulta, and I already took it out of the box because like I said, I filmed this tons. Um, are you guys tap dancing on the hardwood floors? Okay, so this is actually a brow product, and it comes with a brush, which I like. It's a double-ended brush, so one side has a spoolie and one side has actually stiff angled brush. And then this is the actual product. So it's a Stila Stay All Day Brow Gel, and you twist off the cap, and as you can see, you actually will take a little bit and push it up and then you can kind of work on this little palette here and I do like that because it's not quite as messy you don't have to use your hand uh, and the color is actually really good too so I have used this before and the color is pretty good and it does stay all day I didn't set this with a brow gel when I did use it and my brows were still on at the end of the day so that's good in my book uh, it's pretty easy to use too. Uh, I would compare it to the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. So if you're not able to find like the perfect color in the pomade, then I would test this out. I like the application of this a little bit better too, instead of it being in a little pot, so that way you can work on the end of this instead of putting it all over your hand. I've been 
on a hunt for a new foundation recently, and so I've been picking up a couple samples. Uh, I got a sample of the Marc Jacobs Genius Gel Foundation because I want I want two foundations. One let, that's like lightweight, light coverage for summer. Um, so that's what I was thinking I would use this for. And then I also wanted something a little bit more full coverage that would look good in photos because since I'm going to Vegas, I wanted something where at night with a flash, I'm not going to look ghostly. So um, I tried the Armani, Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I already tried a tester of it. Um, eh, I just don't really get the hype. And then I also picked up a sample of the Guerlain Tenure de Perfection Foundation. So I am excited to see how I like this. All right, so I uh, got some lip pro oh my god, so this happened. We're not even gonna talk about that. Um, yeah, I mean, it makes me laugh because it's like, you spend so much money there and then they give you this dinky, itsy bitsy little lipstick. I told myself that I would start, like if I could get it at Ulta, I would start buying stuff there instead because their point system is just so much better. I got these at Macy's, which I forgot to mention in the beginning. I got two of the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses in the color Undressed and Peony. Undressed is like that perfect beigey, super nude lip gloss if you want like a, if you're doing like a really smoky eye. So I am into it. And, um... They're, I think they're pretty sticky, um, but I, that totally doesn't bother me. Um, I also think that, I think that they last a decent amount of time. Uh, they're pretty thick. The formula of this actually reminds me a lot of the MAC Pro Longwear Lip Glosses. Um, the formula is just very, very similar in consistency, uh, the feel that it has on your lips and that sort of thing. So this right here is undressed and it looks pretty warm in the viewfinder but once you get it on your lips it's a very like beigey nude and then this is peony. Those lip glosses are very very pigmented too so if you wanted to just wear the lip gloss uh, then you could definitely do that and in fact I would almost recommend it because I feel like since they are thicker and they um, are super super sticky I feel like if you put like a lip liner a lipstick and then the gloss on top it could just feel like too much on your lips but I haven't tried it yet that's just what I'm imagining in my head and then I got a sample of this uh, like a deluxe sample I guess of the belief the true cream aqua bomb so this is a new line to Sephora it says 18% on there because it's supposed to be like that's the percentage of increased hydration level to your skin when you use this. I don't know. I think that that's kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Cheese ball? <laughs> but I don't know. There could be a real science behind it, and I just don't know. So uh, excited to try that out. They have a, a large line of stuff at Sephora now. Um, one of them is kind of intriguing to me. It's some sort of like um, serum that you put on before your foundation to help with oil control. So... I'm excited about that one. I'm going to give that a try soon. These, this is actually kind of funny. These are Anastasia Beverly Hills stencils. So a little story background here. I went and got my eyebrows done from a new lady in town and she used to work for Anastasia Beverly Hills. So she um, told me that I needed to try to grow in a little bit more of my eyebrows towards the front. And I was like, I know, I know. They just don't grow. Um, I get like one that like spurts out. So she had recommended this like brow enhancing um, serum and all that. And then she also said, when you do your eyebrows, use one of these stencils. And she had picked out what size would work best for me and just mark on the inside, like where they should start based on the stencil and then go ahead and fill them in. And I swear this thing has like changed my eyebrow game for life. Like it really is true that like if you fill it in, like, she used the whole rule, like, here, 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 that sort of thing. And I feel like it has made such a huge difference in my eyebrows, and I'm really into it. So if you have really sparse eyebrows and you're, like, filling them in and you're kind of thinking, I don't even know if I'm filling them in right because you have to do so much filling in, that's me, then I would totally recommend picking these up at Sephora because they really do help. They have different sizes included in the same pack, so... 
you know, based on your needs. I'm sure you can find a stencil that would fit your liking. So kind of run random, funny product, but it's working for me. What can I say? I picked up a new found, no, not foundation, lipstick. This is one of the NARS Audacious lipsticks. Can you see? Can you see? I, have, I feel like I have to put everything over by my comforter. Um, this is in the color Grace, and it just screams summer to me. It, huh, huh. It's like a watermelon pink, and I love. So that's the swatch right there, and it kind of looks like the color that I have on my lips, but we're gonna pretend like they're not the same. Uh, this is just beautiful, and I love the formulation of these NARS Audacious lipsticks because they just, it's like they take away the lines in your lips. I don't know, have you guys noticed that? Any of you that have these, it, they make your lips look very like plump and juicy and beautiful. <sighs> okay, so a little tidbit, my, um, what is this thing called? Tripod is like giving me the hardest time today. It probably took me 45 minutes to get set up for this video. And it won't like if I tilt it, it just like falls forward. So I'm having to sit up super straight and seriously, I think my back is going to die. <laughs> or that would be weird if my back died. But I think I am going to die of back pain because I'm just like, <sighs> I feel like I'm so like prim and proper right now. Oh my gosh. Okay. Speaking of lip products, I need a makeup wipe. Uno momento, por favor. Gracias. All right, so I'm just wiping off this NARS Audacious lipstick swatch um, so that I can swatch more things for you. Okay, so I went to Sephora and I honestly was just going and kind of like moseying around and these have been out for a while. They're the Smashbox, what are they even called? Cool guys, don't put the name on your stuff. There it is. Be Legendary Long Wear Lip Lacquer. And I've swatched them before. I've looked at them and just kind of been like, meh. But then I saw this color and it was just like game over. Game over. It's in the color Knockout. And holy heck. <sighs> okay. This is just, that was just like one little swipe, bam. It is a perfect raspberry, what are they, I think they call it like magenta online, because I went back and looked at it online. Oh, it's so pretty. And this viewfinder is not doing it justice. It's just not, you have to go and find it at Sephora and swatch it for yourself. Put it, ugh, I never put anything on my lips there, but you know. Um, and the viewfinder is not doing it justice. You have to just go to Sephora and swatch it because it's just beautiful. So I bought it and then I, of course, I tear it open in the car and I put it on and I was like, oh, what? I mean, it made your lips so juicy. You know what I felt like? I felt like Ursula in The Little Mermaid. You know when she gets, I think she gets like a little fish and then she's like doing this to her lips and her lips look huge and voluptuous and a very like red, blah, blah, boom. That's what it did. I had Ursula lips because it was so glossy and so plump and it did last for a very, very long time. Once the gloss wears down, it does leave a stain and for that kind of color, it is actually going to leave a stain. If you get like a nude color, it's probably not going to do anything. Um, but I was super impressed with that color and it just, oh, it was beautiful. I could just see wearing that with like just a plain t-shirt, you know, some golden skin, plain white t-shirt, golden skin, ripped up jeans and that lip and you will be like perfect. Oh, this is another primer because this one they did actually have um, at Makeup Forever. They had the full size. This is the smoothing one that everybody and their mama has been talking about. So I'm intrigued to try that. So I actually posted about this on Instagram and I got this at Ulta. And it is one of the Lorac Alter Ego Lip Glosses in the color Goddess. Ooh, so pretty. This, like, if you want to wear a cool tone but you don't want to wear like something super pastel-y. This is just beautiful. Is that everything? Oh, I got one of these Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Eye Crayons. And um, 
I got the color brown out. It is a brown with gold flecks of shimmer. So if you just saw that swatch, then you probably saw the little scab that I have on my uh, hand. I'm sorry to use that word, scab. I think that's the most disgusting word ever. Scab, 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 ugh, it makes me want to bark. Okay, so anyways, you probably saw that thing on my hand. That is from this freaking eyeliner. So the other day I had swatched it right when I got it, and then I just took a towel and I like was trying to rub it off, and I, <laughs> I burnt my skin and created that owie because these are so hard to get off. I didn't even realize it till the next day I saw that SCAB and I was like, oh my gosh, what is that from? And then I like immediately had a flashback and realized what it was from. So these are not going to budge at all. I'm honestly a little terrified to even put this on my eyes because I'm thinking if I ever try to like get this off with like a, I don't know, anything other than a makeup wipe or oil, I'm probably going to like make my eyelids bleed. So just be careful with this bad boy. You're definitely going to want to use an oil or a very moist, there's another word, oh my gosh, moist, ugh, um, a very wet makeup wipe to get that off. Last but not least is, what time is it? I'm supposed to go meet my friend for lunch. Um, last but not least is an hourglass ambient lighting blush. I don't have any of these actually, but I saw this one online on their Instagram a while ago that they were making it and I was like oh yes because it is a blush that's mixed with incandescent lighting incandescent light whatever it's the highlight that's in the middle of the hourglass ambient lighting powder palette so and none of the other blushes are mixed with that so when I saw that some blush was gonna be mixed with that I was like sign me up give me two this is the color so I'm gonna tilt it a little bit this way so you can see it without the glare of the light and it is called Incandescent Electra. It's a coral, like a bright coral pink mixed with that incandescent light. And it is just beautiful. I'm obsessed. Really, really like this. I have tried it on the skin. I don't feel like the little shimmers like accentuate texture on the cheeks or anything like that. So I'm really impressed. I love it, love it, love it. If you want that nice like glow on your cheeks, you need that in your life. I think that's it for this makeup haul. Uh, if you guys are interested in anything that's on my face, I will link it down below. If you're interested in any of these products, I will link those down below so it's easy for you to get. Um, and that is all. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope I didn't put you to sleep. I will see you guys next time. Bye.